Today is Sunday, August 28th, and we're doing another uh, another walk. And I'm not doing too well with the heat and the humidity. So I am driving. But we have hundreds of people walking. The horses, the cars, mile-long cars, hundreds and hundreds of people. Horseback. And we are again leaving Sacred Heart Camp going down to the protest site. And we did it yesterday, and I don't know what happened with my footage. But it didn't work out too well. So we're leaving the larger of the two Sacred Heart Camps heading that direction. And I've got a bunch of cars behind me. i got a bunch of cars in front of me. And I'll try to get what that says on the mountain. Sorry for the jiggle and the wiggle. Oh dear, come on, be still. But I'm not doing too well with the heat, so. Hundreds of people walking. Shit, be still, be still, be still. Sorry for that guys. I can I'm a little overheated and I'm shaking. A little overheated. A little overheated. Catch up girls. So I will be uh, getting some people together to go on to K-MUD Radio in Redway, California. K-M-U-D. Tuesday, 9 o'clock Dakota time. S 7 o'clock Redway time. <laughs> oh, my body is just out of whack on this time zone. Yeah, two hours difference, and it, it doesn't make that much difference. But we are asking for supplies, and I will be asking for supplies there as well. Uh, hopefully we can get that broadcast on there. But since I've got time, I'm going to pull out my list, and I'm going to uh, read it off to you while we're doing this walk. So, in the kitchen... The cook is really wanting some J-Weld for the J-Weld for the coffee pot. And, or a brand new coffee pot. We're cooking over a fire, so we need a big kettle type coffee pot. And you guys know exactly what I mean. We need tables, we need chairs. We need lanterns. If you're coming this direction, we need firewood. Uh, we need volunteers. Always need volunteers in the kitchen. It's the least glamorous job and it's the most important job. I continuously say that with all of these events, these family reunions that we do as I call them. And so, got more kids passing me there. I gotta be really careful. Always need volunteers in the kitchen. Uh, kitchen staff get burnt out. Uh, every time I zoom in, it really shakes. So, looking at my list and driving and trying not to run over people. Uh, J Weld for the coffee pot. <laughs> coffee pot. It would be okay if you sent us several. Not an electric coffee pot, but even a percolator that you would just put on the stove. So, no electric, because we're cooking over wood fires. Tables, chairs, lanterns, firewood, blankets, 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 tents. Uh, you know, we always get people that show up that do not have tents and blankets and the such. So please, uh, gallons of water, meat, and shelves for the kitchen. Uh, we also need solar panels. And... They have all the inverters and all that good stuff going, and they're using the solar panels and the, and the wind generator in the kitchen. 
and people are charging their phones in there and everything else and so it gets drained really fast so we need more solar panels and for the medic tent we have a couple medic tents set up here and the place that I go for medical supplies is shopmedvet.com shopmedvet.com yes it's for animals and yes it's a really good place to get stuff and you go girl you go <laughs> I have met some freaking awesome people here, guys. Truly. Uh, back to supplies. And yeah, we got water. This is awesome. It's beautiful out here. Freaking flies, though. I get up every morning to the sun beating on me and the flies. 10 by 10 or larger military tent. I know this is a huge thing to ask. But we really seriously could probably use a couple of those. Anybody, please reach deep. 10 by 10 or larger military tent. Irrigation syringes. Second skin. Derma Bond Tropical Skin Adhesive. Condoms and lube. Hey, I don't need those, but it's all good. Pregnancy test. Yep, don't need that either, but they're asking for that. Kim 7 urinalysis, let me start that over. Kim 7 urinalysis dipsticks plus plastic cups. A digestive enzyme. Emergency blankets. Chuck pads. Ice packs. We need a lot of ice packs. Aloe, topical and internal. Uh, we need as many as you can send. High end GMRS FMRS radios. You radio goes out there, you're going to know exactly what I'm saying. We need those. Uh, small pocket size notebooks. Now everybody knows that it's back to school sale at Walmart and those big old bucket head stores. And you can get those for like Mondo cheap. Uh, please, we need those. Uh, pen lights. We also need pen lights. And we're going really slow. So I'm going to show you this. Sorry for this, guys. Doesn't get any cheesier than Rocky's videos. P.O. Box 1011, Fort Yates, North Dakota, 58538. And if you send stuff here, uh, the physical address is the camp near Cannonball. Sacred Stone Camp. Sacred Stone Camp. There are other camps that are inside of Sacred Stone Camp. But most of the supplies need to go to Sacred Stone Camp. All these other little tiny tribes and camps that are inside of this camp are getting their own supplies and stuff like that. And so uh, we really need to uh, work this out. There's always issues anywhere you go, blah, blah, blah. It's just the way it is. I've got the AC going and I'm driving. So, this is where everybody got arrested the other day and last week, or yep, I lose track of time. So, um, they take the horses up to where the uh, backhoes and the such are, and that's where the cops are the tribal police and I don't I really just don't get it because I'm not seeing anybody that's violent there is no guns there's no drugs there's no alcohol 
this is about the most peaceful protest that I've been to in a long damn time since I left Humboldt County. Uh, so I don't really get that. The younger generation are a little more riled up and the such, but uh, all in all, this is a very, 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 very peaceful. Uh, a lot of kids in camp, and let's dispel some of the rumors while we're at it. The toilets are clean, they are not full, yes we have outhouses, and they're being cleaned and uh, the such all the time. This morning I parked as close as I could to an outhouse without being totally gross, but I, you know, I'm old, I gotta get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and that's what I did. So I parked as close as I could, and I, I watched it this morning. They came, they cleaned them, they sucked them, uh, you know, did the turd herding thing. Bathrooms are clean. They're not full. I've looked at a lot of them, and let's just uh, get that out of the way right now. Water. We have people bringing in water all the time. Yeah, they took their, their little water truck, blah, blah, blah. We have water. People are taking care of people out here. We have water. That is not an issue. So, uh, yeah, please donate. I mean, yeah, of course. You know, if you're coming this direction, absolutely. If you, uh, yes, bring water. Absolutely bring water. And be self-suspicious. Self uh, self-sufficient when you come as well. Yes, they do have the uh, kitchens set up, but we're running on donations, and so don't just come and, and freeload. I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Uh, kids in camp are taken care of by absolutely everybody, and they are fed and fed and fed and they're happy, they're out running around and playing and crying. Oh, chewy! Oh, okay, there is definitely something here that I makes me sneeze. Apologize. Whew. They're being kids. They're running around playing, getting hurt, crying, getting picked up, loved on, kissed on, and taken care of by everybody. And the kids that are not in school, they are currently putting together a little homeschool group. Anybody that has the skills to teach is coming forth, and uh, we've got some women on that, the, the tribal women, and they are freaking awesome. Uh, you know, after 20 years in law enforcement, it's, this does my heart good to see people do this, because it's just absolutely amazing to me. So, it... I guess I'm doing this for me, ain't I? Heal the heart. You see so much crap, see so much shit, and then when you you see these people come together and take care of each other, it just uh, does the heart good. Oh, what other rumors? Yeah, of course we've got feds in here, guys. You know they're infiltrating. We are having issues with our internet. We are having issues with our cell phones. We are having issues with our Facebook pages. Uh, I'm hearing that throughout the camp. And so uh, my friends out there that do that kind of thing, step up. Love you. And there, I uh, took some pictures of the trailer that they have out there outside the casino. The casino is where I have to go to upload my videos and I'm doing my best there, but, uh, so yeah, they're messing with them just like they did with us in Burns. People are having issues with their telephones, uh, Facebook, people are being taken down, and some of the, 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 uh, the Indians here are having to prove to Facebook that, you know, they are who they are. You guys know the routine. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if anybody can help with that, please help with that. And uh, I don't know what other rumors. So drop, drop some messages, drop some things. I'm going to try to have somebody else manage my uh, YouTube channel uh, with the comments because I don't, I, I can't do it. 
so uh, <laughs> Preston you know I'm talking to you buddy I need somebody to manage that YouTube channel and uh, I've already got uh, my other friends maxed out and so you need to step up buckaroo uh, love you baby so uh, let's get that taken care of too and then I can answer some of the questions because I want to uh, straighten out some of the rumors and I want to straighten out some of the false information that's going on out there and if we can do that that would be awesome so I'm gonna continue this in a little while Rocky out I just pulled over and these are all the cars behind me uh, cars and cars and cars and cars and cars don't even see the end so anyway I'm gonna walk up here to the historic cannonball ranch There's an armed guard out there? So is he here to protect us or them? He's here to protect the machinery for his, you know, when he let me tie, tie my ties on it. Thank you. Awesome. Set his AR-15 down to shake his hand. So there is an armed guard out there. Interesting. Do I want to jump the fence and go? Hmm. Not by myself. <laughs> Protecting the equipment. And the cars are still coming. I'm going to head down that direction. I parked my car and I'm going to walk. Okay, heading back and uh, a little traffic jam going on, but uh, everything went awesome, everything went well. Everybody got along. I still have yet to see the law enforcement. I guess they're up on the hill back back yonder with the equipment. So I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, my phone is ringing. Rocky out. I turned around and came back because I did not get all the flags. <sighs> Some of these we're definitely not going to be able to see because they're the, the wind and they're flat and they're doing their thing and so I will do my best here and I might I think it's probably better to just take pictures because I'm just too wiggly with this thing yeah I think I'll do that